What's up guys, today we're going to take a look at an interesting self-published western comic written and drawn by Rick Veach, whose name you might be familiar with because he worked on Alan Moore's Swamp Thing, wrote and drew some other great books like The One, Can't Get No, Max Immortal, and Brat Pack. But today we're going to be taking a look at this very awesome, beautifully written and drawn book called Tombstone Hand, so let's get to it. So this is a short, independently published book by Sun Comics, and the story is told in a format known as Panel Vision. Each page is a full page of artwork, there are no small panels, and Rick got inspired by this format of storytelling by a book by Yudorowsky and Mobius called The Eyes of the Cat, which I also reviewed. In case you're interested, I'll leave that video at the end of this one. That book is a silent comic, page by page story with no dialogue. However, as you're about to see, this book does have dialogue. And if you're a fan of the Western genre at all, this book, you know, it's a lot of fun. So it complements the genre really well with some interesting characters and surroundings. So spoilers ahead, let's get started. It starts off with our long nailed main character, you know, wandering around in a graveyard looking for a specific name on a grave to which he finds and begins digging. What's he digging for? Treasure. Could it be? Uh, I'll let you find that out for yourself. Later we get introduced to some other characters that provide us with an interesting conflict, let's just say. The story here, I gotta say, is pretty solid. I've read this twice already and I don't see myself getting bored of it. It's an easy read, took me about 45 minutes to get through. And Veach has, you know, other books published in this panel vision format as well, which I think I'm going to definitely check out. I love his art style, there's a lot of detail here. And I especially enjoy the way he draws faces. They really just pop right off the page. If you're a fan of Veach or Western stuff, I would say definitely check this out. Veach had a falling out with DC Comics, causing him to resign after DC cancelled his issue of Swamp Thing number 88, where Swampy meets Jesus Christ. After that, he did go on to create some really good books regardless, which we will maybe talk about in the future because I have been reading a lot of stuff lately by Veach. If you are interested in this book, I think the only way to get it is on Amazon. They have like um, a print on demand kind of service where you purchase the book, they print it for you and they ship it out to you. Unfortunately, I can't seem to find it anywhere else. It's not very expensive. It should run you, you know, maybe 10 to 12 bucks depending on where you live. And I think it's well worth it. So that is it guys. I hope you got some value out of this video. And of course we will see you in the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.